Ladies and gentlemen, David Lemon here for today's training. And today we have an interesting topic. Let me just share my screen quickly. This is what we're doing, building out a long form sales page using Groove Pages. So this is asked by a lot of you guys. Um, maybe you didn't ask with these types of words, David, teach me how to build out a long form sales page. But you were asking like, David, how can I create an affiliate page? How can I actually create a page that, that is used to promote Groove? Or how do I, how do I promote any other affiliate uh, program? And I was actually answering this with the uh, with the answer. Um, affiliate programs and affiliate products are promoted as any other product. It's just that it's not yours. So you're creating a normal sales page, but you're promoting somebody else's offer. So today, what I wanted to show you is show you how to create an interesting page, which is very simple to create. You'll see, and and actually use it for promoting Groove. Um, this is not only for promoting Groove, not, this is also for promoting your own products. This is also for promoting uh, other affiliate products, or basically anything. Uh, if you want to promote in a, in a sales page, like to have a lot of content on the on the page. There are sometimes like VSL, uh, which is a video sales letter, or video sales pages, which is like, a, a video on there, maybe a button, and then you click it, and then basically you go somewhere else. This is something like that, but we add on the, the textual version as well. So you can create a video in case you want, but you don't have to with this type of page. You can create just a written content out and promote your page without you actually appearing on a video, uh, which a lot of users prepare prefer like before i started doing these videos for groove i was very very shy i i never did a video in my life before um uh, before coming to 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 the camera in front of the camera to do these videos video trainings for you guys so i do understand like my heart was like doo -doo 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 like this and then i had to go to the toilet like seven or eight times because i was so nervous and and as like it's something new and and I was in my comfort in my in my comfy space before, but when you have to do something like like get in front of the camera and then you're thinking like, oh my god, will I look like a fool? Will I say something wrong and things like this? It's just like a mental shift that happens when you actually get over that fear. Um, so I do understand people that don't want to become like um, uh, in that don't want to come in front of the camera, but. Uh, and that are not camera ready, but this will be for you guys. For everybody that doesn't want to come on uh, on camera or to do a video on their pages, just want a textual version, you can do this one. What I will do, what we will be working on, we'll, we will be building out today, it will be this page, okay? So this will be a sales funnel or a, basically a, a sales page with a video but this is not necessary you can just do an image over here or just a video where you do a demo of a, of a screen recording and you put some music in the background and things like this for example for this one we can do about groove pages then you would go into groove pages and, and click around and create something like a speed builder something just to get people interested in what you have to offer but what happens after this one is the most important so what happens here lower so you add some guarantees and secure checkout, and then you explain your product a bit more. So you go in there and then you say step one, step two, step three, then you go in and show up the features, then you, you say that this offer is only available until this time, and then you actually showcase the product. But then you go into more depth, into testimonials. Then you go into actually showing parts of the product itself, like separated, and you take out and you explain it with, with different information and, and descriptions. And then again, you, you put up a complete list of what is included when somebody purchases this one over here. I just see that one of these... Um, icons is a bit bigger than the other but doesn't matter we will be building out everything that you see here together um and then again bonuses when i whenever i'm uh teaching people how to create sales pages i i, 
I, I talk about bonuses. Bonuses are very important when you're promoting an affiliate offer or where you're selling your product. Uh, there is a huge difference between selling a product and an offer. Okay, so whenever you have a product, let's just say that my this phone over here is a product, but let's just say you put up a case with it, you put up a in the box, you get uh, earphones and a charger and a, I don't know a holder for your car. This becomes an offer. The people that sell offers will outsell easily those that are just selling the product itself, which is the phone. Okay, so offer happens whenever you have something else with a, with a product. So let's just say that your Groove, Groove Funnels, if you're promoting it as an affiliate, Groove Funnels is your product. But when you create bonuses, when you add on bonuses, it is not only a product anymore. It is not a, a matter of like, yeah, I can just go on to Groove Funnels and sign up myself. It is actually... I want to sign up through David or Rob or Darcy or Alicia because I want their bonus, okay? So this is an offer that you are offering only and nobody else because nobody can create other bonuses like you. So don't sell products, sell offers. This is how you differentiate yourself. Bonuses are very important and there is a full training on that one which you can find. It's easiest on YouTube or in case you go to support.groovedigital.com, you can just type in bonus. And then here, the first one, get more affiliate signups using bonuses in Groove Affiliate. We have a systematized way of actually putting your bonuses inside Groove. And when somebody signs up through you, then the system delivers these bonuses automatically. And this is what we actually talk about in this video. Get more affiliate uh, signups using bonuses inside Groove. So what I'm, I'm going to be teaching you today is how to create this page, how to design it, but the mentality and the, and the, what what is going on to the page is talked about in, in multiple videos. For example, bonuses I cover over here. Um, let's just have a look what else we have on the page. And then you, for example, over here, I would say, um, yeah, so you get this and this and this and this and this. And then again, a very important a money back guarantee or or in case you, you have something like that, this is for your products or in case you have an affiliate product, for example, Groove offers or Groove Funnels offers 30 day money back guarantee, then you can actually um, promote that one as well. And then you have another call to action. And then very important, the these links for terms and condition, privacy policy, these legal pages when you're promoting your product or other affiliate product, this is very important. So this is something we will be building out today. Um, this is what I wanted to teach you um, to do. There are templates that you can use inside Groove. So whenever you come into pa Groove pages, or sorry, yeah, in the Groove Pages platform, and you start a new site, or you come into an existing site, you can add on uh, pages uh, that are using templates. So the newest ones, we have um, a long form sales letter, which is very similar to the one that we will be creating, is for a book launch, as you can see over here. Um, let's just click the preview button and let's have a look how it looks like. Um, you can use templates as well. It's what I want to show you is actually how to create it yourself. Uh, but you don't have to start from scratch. You can use these types of templates and you can just uh, convert them into what we are talking about uh, in my build. As you can see here, this is you can convert convert this. As you can see here, bonuses as well. Um, and it works amazingly. So these types of pages just, they just work. Um, they pull in the visitor and it converts them like, okay, you're interested, here you go, here's the product, here's a button, click on it and then enjoy. So you don't have to start from scratch. This is one of the templates. We have another one, which is called the long form sales letter, okay? So this is long form sales letter template. Uh, it is also very similar to the one that I will be creating, but again, different. So you have multiple options. You can create yourself. You don't have to create it yourself, but if you want to do your own, I want to show you how, okay? So this is a different style. As you can see, it is um, it has things on different places, but it's following the same standards, the same um, kind of a layout. And 
these are just things that, as I mentioned previously, these work. People are people are building out these pages. People are using these pages because they sell and they convert visitors like crazy. And you want to learn how to create this. In case you're a designer, in case you are uh, working as an agency, having knowledge of how to create these is very important. So, yeah, you don't have to in case you're not a designer, in case you're not an agency, but uh, you want to create your own custom one, not just use the templates, then here today you will be able to learn. So let's just go out from scratch, basically, and start uh, building this out. But first, before I do that, actually, I'll just jump into the comments just to see who is with us and who is uh, who is joining us. David, the myth, the man, the myth, the legend. Thank you very much, Rob. Welcome to today's uh, live stream. Terence is here with us. Hi, David. Joanne Bassett is here with us. Uh, Eldon is already on YouTube and Facebook. Um, moderating thank you very much eldon as always christine case great morning all uh saulo from brazil from brazil is here with us alicia uh gary uh love your description of heartbeat when starting to do videos absolutely yeah um good morning from sunny vegas I'm grateful for you, David Lemon. Thank you for the examples. Absolutely. Uh, it's my pleasure. So we have Eric Strickland. I have somebody, uh, a Facebook user from uh, Quezon City, Philippines. And like, who is else with us? Viber is here. And Namaste, David. Uh, Maxwell is watching us from Alaska. Awesome. So we have a great crowd of people watching us today. Um, I need to mention, this was a last minute um change today i wanted to teach groove mail there is a there is a deployment of of updates new features and and fixes going to be coming for groove mail groove member and i believe groove pages as well today um it will i'm not able to tell you an exact time it was supposed to come out by by now but there were just some um some things didn't go quite as planned when we were deploying the, the platform to the test environments. So we just need to work on those a bit longer. So my um, topic for today was, and I created all the video, all, all the, the images and already was ready to press the, the, the publish the, the stream, like for, for you guys to know, to, to be able to come on live to, to learn how to use Groove Mail. Um, but, Due to these changes, we had to shift. So this is a last minute topic, but I believe it is still very powerful and you still uh, will learn a lot from that one. We do have new apps, which we will be able to use even better this week after these uh, fixes came out. Don't ask me which fixes and what features. I will be publishing the, the full list of them once the de deployment is, is done. So... Um, I would appreciate in case you just uh, stay patient a little bit longer. It was set up to be by the end of this week, but it is coming out earlier. But yeah, this was a side rant. And whoever is doing the time stamping, please start the uh, teachings from now. So whenever you are logged into your GrooveFunnels account, um, click here to Groove Pages to come into the page builder. This is the page builder from GrooveFunnels, which we are using to create our awesome pages with. I will start with a new site. And as I mentioned previously, in case you you want to just create your own pages, um, you can start with a template. Like you click templates and then you scroll down on the bottom of the templates at this moment before we have any categorization and filtering. There are at the bottom of the uh, the templates over here so a long form sales letter and another one over here um you can choose those but we will be starting from scratch there we go and then when we are seeing this it says it looks a bit empty we need to start pulling in our blocks and elements onto the page so let's just have a look what we have here we have a white block with an image with a title and a paragraph and then a video. This is the first block. So let's just pull these in, pull these elements in. Okay. What I could do is I could just come to the wireframe blocks, click uh, covers, and then pull in, for example, this one. 
it already has a title set up a paragraph and we just need a video so we can click on the elements and as i mentioned previously guys you don't need to have a video i will be using a video because it looks great on on sales pages okay and then on the top we just need to pull in an image so the image will be coming on the top of the headline so now we have all the elements already in place that we are using on this page as well so let's just come to the second block here we have one block that we have a darker uh, background we have a button on the top and then we have a three column layout which has an image uh, list item an image list item and just an image in the third third column so let me just show you what i mean by this what i will do is click on blocks wireframes empty and just pull in this empty container here like that perfect i will center so i will click on the empty container immediately i will center everything vertically and then i can pull in an i button with an icon okay so button with an icon is this one over here it is coming in the middle and below that we are pulling in a three column layout as you've seen here this is one column second column third column okay so i see questions from people already coming in please guys uh let me just do this build and then i can answer your questions um i just want to keep a nice flow for the people that are watching the replay so we have a button in there and then we will pull in a three column layout just below the button itself great there we go and then as i mentioned these ones are image list items so this is an image and this is text we have elements that use these exact elements but as a one so it is a it is two elements but created as a one element so this is the image list item over here inside the lists okay so image list item over here and we'll pull in another one so image list item over here and on the third container over here we will just place an image just a normal image come on yeah sometimes there is a bit of tweaking with this positioning uh, but now we got it in there so that's basically it we have the second block done as well let's just quickly click the save button so that we don't uh, lose any changes over here it's pretty simple if you if you have a look at what we have on this page it's a piece of text title paragraph and over here just two columns so this is one column two column and then we have image basically uh, four images over here so let's just recreate this one so what i will be doing is i will pull in wireframe empty you can do this so this is a two column element oh, sorry the two column block like that in the first column we will have um, a subheading i'll just use h4 like that and i will use a title and paragraph over here which is this one so this is the the h4 which is the the, the subheading and then this is a title this is a paragraph okay and then over here inside this container we will have four images in order to achieve this uh, we need to have two columns okay so here here will be one image here will be a second image what i will be doing is just duplicating this image from above and just pull it down into this one do it again like that there we go so now i will take the actual layout two by two which is the two column which is like two containers next to each other and i will duplicate it so now we have two and two below that okay so when we have this layout two minus two chosen in in this um, breadcrumbs menu on the on the bottom of our page uh, let me just make it bigger for you so you can see it uh, it's much important for you to see the actual build than my face so we'll just continue this way um, so here we have these two containers layout two two by two and we can just duplicate it so now you can see that we have two, ima two images over here and then two images below that so 
um somebody's asking is this also for the free version yes you can do it with a free account or with a paid account with any account that you have we're building a page from scratch so this is what we created for now as you can see this is one block two columns so one is one column is this one second column is this one and this column we actually separated with with two more columns um yeah so the next block over here is very simple it is this is text so this is kind of a a title subtitle and a paragraph i believe we have also these types of elements but we have three so there is one column two column three columns so we will come into the blocks section wireframes empty and then just choose this three column one three column block great so this is the three column block and now we can come into elements tab and choose the um, okay so icon title and paragraph this is title and paragraph we don't have a, a title subtitle and the paragraph so what we will be doing is we can just take an h3 like that one this will be the numbers and then i can just take a title and a paragraph this way okay so over here i will not populate it yet because i will leave it for a bit later i will click save and and we'll do it until here okay and then later on we'll continue on building out the rest of the page i believe we could do this pretty quickly um but yeah we just need to start so let's just have a look we have a logo over here which is saying sales funnel and i will just upload that logo over here um so i just did it very quickly guys so i click on this image here in the configure tab on the right hand side you just click this choose image button okay then you come over here to upload the image and then you choose your logo um this is not our logo but we can use this one for now so this is a jv page i have a i have created a, a jv page which i'm planning to do a, a, a video on it but it's actually white so i'll just use something else so a different logo lemon donation this was from our lemon donation let's just use this one okay this will be our logo that we will be using here we go it's a pretty pretty big so i'll just click on the on the sizing over here so while i'm still having the image selected design size and i can just make it a bit smaller here by these percentage okay so this didn't change so i'll just use the width and choose relative to the parent and increase decrease the sizing this way good so we have the logo set in place then we'll just copy over this text to be our heading paste and as you can see when you paste with your mouse immediately it puts in an extra blank space below it so you click your mouse here and then you just press the backspace button this deletes the actual um, spacing in there so here i just want my my title to be a bit smaller this one is quite nice um maybe we can do it this way any layout and then just actually move this up a bit this way there we go this looks nice so over here this part of text will copy and we'll just paste it in as you can see as i pasted it in immediately it puts a an extra space we just click the backspace button and then we delete it so now this part of text i want to make smaller i want to make it bold and kind of a different color so let's just choose some kind of a purple color just to go with our example that we created previously good um so that is basically it let let's just change the background color over here so we click out of everything so that the block part is chosen in case you cannot find it in case you cannot click it from uh, immediately click anywhere on the page and then you can click over here to the bottom where it says block 
or you can navigate using the up arrow over here and then when you see the star icon this means that you're in the block section here we have a background image set to be some type of gray but i just want to make it white so that it is more clean here we go so that is now white and the last thing i will need to do over here is to make the video a bit smaller i don't want it so big so we'll just make it smaller like that yeah 66 percent is, is good enough and then also i want to move it a, a bit lower on the page there we go perfect so it looks good now and i am happy with it now the next section is this block over here where we have the image list item image list item an image over here and the button so and it also has a background so this is type of a dark blue background so we can use um something similar over here maybe a bit brighter here we go so over here we can put this to white so we can actually see what is happening on the page there we go and then we copy over the text like that backspace here as well we copy over this text paste it in backspace to remove the, the extra additional spaces that we don't need we are missing a, one over here perfect so that is it the next thing we can upload our images so these are images that were created in something like canva or crello or photoshop um, you can use these platforms to create very simple images like these ones or you can just download them there is a lot of different um, stock places online or icon places where they actually uh, will give free um, icons and and images like these so you can just download them from there for example a good one is a flat icon once you click over here you can search for 30 day money back guarantee or anything like that they have different versions of it so you can have a look there for now i have my own uh, i just downloaded it previously and then i can upload it simply by choosing the image over here and there we go and then click select it's actually quite big 800 by 800 you would probably want a bit a smaller image not as big as, as here so I'll just leave it as it is and then resize it let's have a look okay now it's too small maybe two rem is good yeah it's good enough and then we'll just move the text a bit lower so that uh, so i click on the text and i just use the margin to move it a bit lower on the page so that it is kind of uh, together there we go so that's one and then over here on this advanced secure checkout we can put in that lock image which i have saved over here perfect there we go it's also 800 by 800 it's pretty big if uh, if i would be saving those from um from those photo editing apps i would make it a bit smaller so over here as you can see it is a square image it was saved as a square image and i want to show you how to actually uh, use that to make it a rounded image so when you click borders you have these corners a slider over here so you can slide it all the way to the end and you get a round image so now you just need to come to sizing and then make it smaller i believe it was relative to the page and then set up to two rem there we go 
and then again move the text a little bit so i can click on the text part and then just move it a little bit down on the page like that also if you want you can make sure that it is a bit more separated so that there is a bit more space between the the, the image and the text as well i can do it here also actually forgot how much i put here spacing 75 okay so let's do 75 over here um so i click on the text and over here it needs to be 75 so that we have it the same um same distance from the from the image over here and over here as well this image will be used as the the guarantee for for these guarantee images for the actually the the payment processing images like visa mastercard you can download these freely on even on google there are uh credit card um, images like these created already or if you don't want you can just download these uh logos which are made freely online and just put them nicely next to each other in a in a software like Krello or Canva or, or Photoshop or something like that and then you can create these yourselves as well okay but I'm actually pretty happy with how it this looks like um, the only thing that I want both of these so the image and the text to be in the middle of this image so what I can do is I can move them actually using this slider over here Okay, so here there is a bit of space which we don't need. And then using the slide with a bit lower. There we go. So I made a mistake because I clicked only on the text. What I want is this one, but there is a bit more space. So when you are actually moving these, as, as I did with this one, you need to click the list image. When you click into the text, then this is not the list image. This is not the, the container that holds the image and the text together. So you need to click outside so that you move both of these together using this slider, as you can see here. There we go. And now we are in one line. Great. So. The last thing we need to set up our button i you can do actually a button outside just below the video but for this example i'll leave it out here um, we can make it very bright so that we can see it very easily on the page and then what do we have click here to buy now okay click here to now we have a shopping cart icon over here so shopping there we go shopping cart and i want just a large image icon color i want it to be white and icon alignment i want it to be here where it is left perfect i'm very happy with a button so we can just come up here and increase the spacing so on the left and right i just want to make it a bit bigger 2.5 like that and also a bit thicker like that lovely the next thing what i will do is just to move it away from this white part over here so i want to just make it appear a bit more towards the middle and then add a bit of of padding add a bit of uh, space below this three column layout over here so i'll come into spacing and then padding increase that 1.5 2 there we go it looks it looks great now what we could do also is round the corners on this button so that it looks it looks more rounded like that it looks more professional and then we can add on shadow as well just to have some bit of separation it looks a bit more professional it looks like something that you want to click 
there we go so these were the two sections that we created it's a bit different from what we have here but it looks very nice <clears throat> as you can see over here there's a bit more spacing you can add on more spacing just by clicking on the block and then inside paddings you can just increase like that there we go it looks pretty cool um very nice so over here the next section as you can see it is kind of a grayish color so we can use that over here um we created this ourselves like this block you all already have blocks i believe these are like call to action blocks um here we go which have these types of things like a heading description and an image instead of this image you just put in four images and you don't have to create them yourself you can create you can go the route that i i went by creating it yourself but in case you don't want to spend so much time on uh, getting the pages mobile responsive you can just use this block and then instead of this image you just delete this image like that and over here you pull in the two column layout for example this way and then just pop in images in there there is an image there is an image and then you duplicate this layout two by two over here separate it a bit this way and we can add on just a subheading which i will just use this one you can pull it also from the elements tab from over here onto the canvas immediately we don't need a button so we can delete this one and it's basically the same thing that we created ourselves is just a bit more quicker there we go so <clears throat> 1000 pre-made templates for you okay so that is coming over here for you lovely and then create your beautiful sales funnel pages uh, wrong button just use um, control V or in control key uh, control C on the uh, on my on my keyboard to make this a bit faster for you guys um, create your beautiful sales uh, sales funnel pages we have that now copied in and the text actually we'll just want to make a bit smaller like that duplicate it here a couple of times so that it looks like a description actually let's keep oops i just wanted to delete this part huh this seems like this is something that shouldn't be happening but that's fine this is how we find these things okay there we go save so now the next section is done as well here you would populate these with your images about the product or about the offer that you're promoting and then you're good to go the last thing i'll just make sure that this one has a blue kind of color and space it out nicely on the page so we can just add on actually let's just use this color that we use for our button as well now over here i want to space this one out a little bit like that and then the text here below as well and then as you can see here i want the images to start where this title is so i will click on this layout two by two and i will come to sizing and sorry spacing and then push it down a little bit so that it is kind of in the same um same line and then it ends in kind of an insane line so it doesn't it, it looks like the this text is about these images um yeah this will change probably when you populate this with your images just make sure that your images are created the same size in case you're using canva crello or photoshop or something create one um kind of a image and and uh, crop all your images to be the same size then it will show up nicely 
align like this i will not populate it with with any kind of images at this moment i just want to actually show you how to create the layout of a sales page like that fast we can leave the background color because we also have this kind of background color over here on here we have a three column layout below which is basically a heading title and the description okay so for the heading we'll just use this one sit in oh, zero one this will be our heading we can make it a bit bigger like that and then front end editor we can copy this over to be our title and also make it a little bit bigger like that 1.5 is fine i'm looking at this number over here and then i don't need all this text i'll just delete it here we go so you can say that i'm creating a template now because i will not be populating it with my content um you probably have already an idea of the content that would go in there so in case uh you see an uh a website like this you've seen these kind of websites you know what goes in in where um so you can just populate it for example in case you are promoting group funnels you can talk about all the features for example uh all the different apps so groove pages to sell your uh, to, to create your pages groove sell to actually sell your uh, products uh, in a funnel way um i don't know groove mail and groove member and you can line them up all here if you want and you can in this piece of text you can talk about it and then you then you say it's easy to sign up just step one uh click on the link in in here and you can also add on a button over here below um step one click on the button and register step two um i don't know visit the groove digital academy uh, step three receive my bonuses or something like that so, uh, you can do different types of things with these ones but that's just an idea okay so this i will put in a kind of a grayish color maybe a little bit brighter so like that and then once i did this it is very easy for me to just duplicate this actually i'll move this one over here duplicate this one move this one over here and then do the same with the rest so ah okay so over here this is a title and paragraph element together so when you duplicate only one you cannot move it away so when you duplicate just a title you cannot move it away you would need to duplicate the container that is holding both of these then you have this move tool okay so you duplicate them together and then you can move it around on the on the canvas come on Um, okay, so let's just delete this one and then add it on again. It doesn't want to jump in, in, in on the top for some reason. Um, let's see what we can do. This is happening because we have a container so that it is selecting a container which is in a different container over here as well so when we bring it over it puts it in the in the same container with this one but it has already a hierarchy so it's a bit hard to explain but let me just do something else let i'll delete this one put back this and position this one again a bit better there we go huh there we go so now this is in the first container but this is in a in a different container now i hope i on this i explained it correctly it is a bit strange in case you're looking this video as your first video after you joined groove i would suggest you to start out with the welcome to groove funnels and then intro to starting your pages which you can find in youtube.com forward slash groove digital 
you'll find these videos in the video section over here or inside supports in case you're you're starting out you have searchable videos over here you have super faq which actually gives you textual versions of answers and how to start but over here you can just uh, find intro to groove funnels which i would suggest you to watch first and there is uh, how to um, how to use groove pages for complete beginners like complete beginner guide to working with groove pages these are the two videos i would suggest you to watch in case you are new to the platform good so we can copy this over all in one solution boom and then over here okay and then let's just copy over this container there we go and faster performance perfect great so it was pretty simple there's not a lot to 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 this one but what i want to do is add on some spacing on top and bottom so that there is a bit of white space above these numbers and a bit of white space below these uh letters here i mean we can add three five pixels on top and bottom that could be working nicely um yeah i'm pretty happy with this section here so let's just quickly save it and continue with our build so we're doing this for 45 46 minutes now we have created one block two blocks three blocks four blocks there's a quite a few more to go but this will be pretty easy now so this we have a, we have a pre-made block for that one when we come to blocks wireframes you can click to features which is which is somewhere around here so resource ah they renamed it to resources so we have if you scroll down to the bottom i believe yeah here we go so something with a text and then three three of these features and this is what we have some text over here and then feature 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 okay so let's just pull that one inside here on the canvas and then we will need here below this headline we'll need just uh, another piece of text which we will use as our subheading so we can just duplicate this one pull it here below there we go so now we have a subheading once we design these we can just duplicate it pretty quickly by choosing these layout three by three and clicking clicking duplicate so then we have not only three but we have six of these features over here then this is a countdown timer we have already pre-made countdown timers we can choose from if you come to wireframes countdown timers you can choose one of these or any of these i believe we also have designed uh count time okay so i have some, something i saved here but yeah so we need to create more of these designed countdown timers anyway we have them here so we need a piece of text and a countdown timer so that is piece of text and countdown timer we can delete the logo we don't need the logo over here we can delete okay so this let's just leave the the headline and this piece of text we don't need so you can see it's pretty simple to modify everything here and over here we just have the numbers but we'll just keep the these ones as well over here good so over here this one is a call to action i believe because there's an image there is some uh, some list items over here with a heading so we have already pre-made blocks for that if you come to blocks um i know that we have these blocks because i have used a lot of these previously so i created hundreds of these uh, pages and funnels already so i know my way around in case you are new to it the first thing i would go and just explore what kind of blocks there are uh, available and then start building out something with those 
in case um, there is no something that you can use uh, if you don't find something then you can just recreate it using your uh, your empty blocks and elements it is pretty simple you just need to analyze it so for example if i would be creating this there's just a piece of text and then below that there is a countdown timer it's not very hard to do over here it is a, a piece of text with a subtitle icon title description and there is three columns so this is one column second column third column so you would just create once and then duplicate it two more times so it is pretty simple to do in case you're new um or not uh you didn't you, you weren't in the builder a long time then i suggest you just explore first on your own um watching tutorials whenever you're, you're new could be very overwhelming in case you didn't go in and explore just a little bit for yourself uh, once you explored it a bit for yourself you will understand it much better and it will be easier to follow the tutorials as well so this is a feature um or sorry a call to action block which has a title an image and then some list items with a button so call to action which has an image some list items and a button over here so we can use that yeah we don't have others so this is where our image will be coming we have a title which is probably going to be coming on the top so we will need something here in the top and over here we'll just put the list items so these are icon list items this is an icon and this is a text we have these elements which are called icon list items which is this one over here and once we pull this out it looks like that so we'll just need to modify it a little bit how to actually put something now on the top in case you would just take this one and put it on the top it would not come because there is nowhere to go here if you leave it here this is already the the second block this is the top block so this is a completely different section of the page this is this section we don't want it there but we want it over here so what i would do is i'll click on the elements and just put a container somewhere here in the in the middle if it allows me to, to do sometimes the pre-made uh blocks don't allow you to do those but let's just try to keep juggling it maybe if, if it allows us if not then what you could do is you could just pull in another block over here with an empty container and just place this on the top We'll make it the same background color like that. And let's just see why it has this white space. I don't like this white space below it. So let's just have a look why it has that. Okay. Funny. So when we delete this one, actually, it, re it it goes away. When we put it back, let's just put back using this one. And I will immediately put the background color to that one. And now it covers the whole section. So I'll just use this one. Ha! Okay, so I believe I found an undocumented feature because this shouldn't be happening. Uh, but there we go. This is how we explore the the software so in case you're watching a replay this is probably not happening to you but for us in the live stream this is a thing so let's just pop this back we'll not need this we'll just use the title over here on the top on this top of the page and then the icon list items we'll just put below here Please keep showing what your page will look like in mobile. We'll get there. Um, nice. So over here, we will put in our image, which is mockup box. So this one, I just I just typed in mockup box into the search engines of the world. And this is where I got this one. Um, 
in multiple other videos, I, I showed people how you can create your own. Um, so I will not go into this one today, but um, you can search for it either on YouTube or inside our Groove Digital Support, for example, um, and find the videos where I go into depth of how to create your own mockups. And then as this mockup is not a transparent background mockup, I will just put the whole con whole block background to white. Now it looks like it belongs there. Okay, so the next thing is to copy this over as our heading. Okay. There we go. So this is our heading. And we want to achieve that this is black and this is orange or yellow. So as you've seen here, I was using this type of, of red-ish, orange-ish color, which is this one over here. I know that this color is available over here, but when I select the text, I'm pretty sure I will not be able to choose that color from this color picker over here. I can select a very similar one, but I cannot select that exact color. So what I can do is I can create the whole text over here to be that red, like that, and only the first part to be black because black is black inside any color picker. So I can just select this type, this text over here and make it black, okay? And now I achieve the same exact thing over here, so, but I control the color that I want. Okay, so this is black and this is orange. But when you select text, not all the colors are avail available at this point. We will probably have a color picker like this one attached here um, with a hex, a hex values, but that is something for the future. For now, you can just select the whole text set up in one color that you want, and then the rest you can put in black or white or other colors that you want. Here, I probably want to have semi-bold, semi -bold, and we can get a strike through effect on this one. So if we want to select this one and click strike through, then we get this option like it is crossed over. Um, we have very similar effect now on here. So the next part is to actually create these icon list items to make the icon our own color. And then over here, we can just set up the, the text. I'll just keep these ones because they have these types of prices on the end. So I'll just use these. Paste it in. S delete the space that it puts in. I already reported it to the developers. In case you're watching a replay, you probably don't have this space um, issue anymore. But if you are on live, you, you have that. Check. I want to put in the check mark icon over here. Just click update. It is pretty big, so you could modify it using the text sizing tools. Like that, it's, it's pretty small now. So let's just use this one. I actually like how this looks now. Um, so I'll just add some additional spacing like that. And we could do a color for it. So you see, when I when I select an icon, I can modify it using the text options. If I put a color on this text, let's just do this type of a blue, I can control that from over here. You can control icons using the text element. So text, the icon size, you can, uh, you can modify using the text size, the colors and everything like that inside the, the icon options of the text. Good, so now I have one of these icon list items. Just do it quickly. I will select the list icon element from over here on the bottom of the page, and I can just simply click to duplicate, and it duplicates it a couple more times over here. So I can click in and add on a price to be 87 and 95. 
for example in this one you can create a, a mock-up or maybe a desktop mock-up of of the dashboard in Groove Funnels, and then over here you can you can just type out uh, you by using Groove Pages save that many per year um, by canceling out your other page builder or something like that, or you can you can also say um, you have Groove Pages to build your page you have groove sell to to sell your products you have this you have that da 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 da, da. so you have a lot of different things uh, question within a single headline can you make some words bold and some normal i couldn't figure out how to do that you can so basically if you have your your text which is let's just put it back to normal and you select a part of the text you can just click in the bold and then only this one is bold and the rest is not um let's just see how it looks like when we have a semi bold so you see also this is still bolded like that you can also select this one and make it bold like that um so that is done using this only when you're doing something with text I highly suggest against using the pixel sizing. Let me just show you what happens when you size uh, things with these pixels. For everybody that is just started following our tutorial videos, um, use the sizing element from this um, style editor. We use this. We use the name style editor for this uh, sidebar where you edit the style. And over here we have the the name of text editor for this little black part that shows up uh, when you're editing text so the the pixels the the changing the size of text in the text editor is good when you're changing a part of the text for example if you want to highlight something to be bigger like that oops come on and make it bigger then it is it is good so when you change the size everything else is changing except that one because now this is hard coded to be that way but then you can simply just delete this piece of text and you are back to the normal type of text where you uh where you can now say again only seven dollars and you don't have to redo everything from scratch let's back through from this There we go. So now you still can edit it, but when you actually select the whole piece of text and you change this, you cannot edit it anymore. You have to delete the whole piece of text. And I've seen people do this with huge blocks of text, like a complete website uh, or blocks of text, and they use this pixel. So they unfortunately had to delete it so that they can uh, customize the mobile responsiveness because this text could maybe look good now on a desktop, but when you actually put it on a mobile, it will still be too too small. So you cannot make it bigger. You can make it bigger using this one, but again, it is it is looking very bad on here. So if you have any options don't use this pixel for complete pieces of text just for parts of it like in case you are working with this piece of text over here then you can make it bigger smaller using these uh, pixel options good this was a tutorial within a tutorial so that is the answer to that one let's just keep editing our page our button I want to use the same button that I used up uh, previously on the page so I'll just click this button delete it and duplicate this button over here and then pull that oops just pull that down on the page here we go so now we have the exactly same same button maybe just a text i want to make it bigger just so that it it shows a bit um so that it shows up like it's more important um great so people are asking when are the lives you can go to groove groovefunnels.com forward slash calendar 
forward slash calendar and then opt in for the calendar over there you can add it to your google calendar or to ical and it shows up over here so you can add this on and follow every day except tuesdays we have um a training at 12 p.m noon eastern standard time and central european time that is 6 p.m in the evening perfect so what people say let's just go on to the next block um as you can see actually while modifying this block we can see that this text starts quite quite a lot higher than the the image itself so what we could do is we can select the whole container and then we can we can add some padding inside so that the, the text is pushed down the page like that so that it is in the same height so that it it, it looks like it's irrelevant basically everything here is relevant to the to the image on the side so if we go on to the next page the next uh part what people say so these are testimonial blocks so in case we go to wireframes we come to the testimonials and we can choose different style testimonials let's just see what we have here something like that we can achieve using maybe we can create it with this one um don't have to look exactly as what we have here which we can but we can also do something like that so instead of a gray we can put black background over here and this text to come to white maybe a bit smaller like that and then we can add these types of Uh, so just to make it a bit more to look like like a testimonial okay here we go so you don't have to add on any, any other text in case you don't want you can add it on uh, you can create something like this you can create something like that with with the pre-made blocks for the simplicity and for the speed i'll just use it as it is inside this block make it a bit more rounded so that it is nicer it didn't take for some reason. Okay, this is not changing. Let's just see why. Okay, so the corners are not getting rounded when I choose this container. This would need to also be looked into. yeah that's fine we can just leave it out um when you are created for example this i created uh created myself so this is a container that has a rounded edges with a text inside let's just create one quickly together so this is a container which was placed outside mm, let's just do it here below this image so the background was set up to black color and i put a piece of text inside there like that i rounded the corners like that and added some padding like that and then below this container, I just added an image, which let's just duplicate this one. Um, I would need to add on another container, or actually I can do it with this one like that. And there you go. This is how I achieved this, this type of look. But for simplicity, as I said, let's just keep these types of things. Um, so over here, I will just put the background to be black this one as well and then the text to white okay dokie and then over here i'll just duplicate this text because i'm a bit 
um, I'm a bit lazy to actually put the same thing again and again. Let's just copy this one. Um, there we go. Um, so now you can put in uh, images of people. I'll just use one image just for the sake of the example. We can use, for example, we can use this image over here. Update down. We can make it smaller like that. And then that is basically it. There we go. Easy. So what people say, we can um, just leave this and add on a piece of text below that, which will be saying, we can duplicate this, which will be saying this. Reviews and make this part a bit smaller. to pull it up a bit there we go nice easy peasy lemon squeezy so now if we want multiple of these so here we have two columns only so one column two column our pre-made block had three columns so we can just select the basically the these containers these these ones and then duplicate it below duplicate each one, each one below we can add on some some spacing like that and then we have uh, multiple of these testimonials it is not very hard to create as you can see so this can be done pretty simply uh, we'll just leave it at, at three and we can move on to the next section which is going to be again simple so what we have here is text so title subtitle and just a, a mock-up which is a device mock-up which we have inside the builder itself so we can create that using the cover elements or you can just choose um i don't know maybe content these already have this type of of title subtitle we don't need this headline over here these already have the title subtitle and we'll just need to add on a device below that so i put the background to be white title subtitle device okay this device is going to be an element we scroll down which is a laptop so we'll just pull in a laptop there we go um you can also use your own more professional looking uh, mock-ups that is not a problem at all um, you can choose whichever you prefer and make it a bit bigger on the page like that there we go so these are uh, vector made these are these are uh, graphic devices um, you can create your own mock-up from from a photo editor and use that one these elements are pretty simple to 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 use because they are already inbuilt into groove pages and you can just choose different versions of it so let's just see how it looks like if we choose an image with it you will be our test image like that there we go so this is light two this is dark one there you can see there are different versions in case you do want to have um, a different styled mock-up you can create your own using different mock-up tools awesome so let's just continue on i'll just delete this image just so that we have maybe just go like that there we go um save thousands of dollars thousands of dollars a bit smaller and then over here i'll just leave this this one and make it a bit more smaller there we go it's pretty simple to edit these pages um 
I, I know that a lot of people may not feel the same way at this moment because of how speedy I am with it, but it just comes with experience. When you when you build a couple of pages, when you explore it a little bit yourself, you will see it's it's pretty easy to understand it. It's, it's drag and drop, move things around the page, um, resize them, change the text, change the colors, change the images. And that's basically it. Um, so the next block is a call to action block, which has text, um, which has a title on the top and then title description image. So we will just can actually do this one let me just show you this we can duplicate this pull it down below here move this lower and then remove the the padding on the bottom of this container like that this is a this is another trick you can use um, and then you can just use the call to actions for example, this one to achieve the same type of, of look. So we have title, description, and an image. But the text, the title, we don't put on this block, but we can use the upper block to, to you basically to be our, uh, our title. Over here, we want to change it to white. And if we remove the, the spacing on the top like that it looks like this became a part of the the lower section so it is also an option for you to use over here we can just use lorem ipsum text like that And over here, we will use the same, just a bit smaller. Nice. So we don't need the button anymore. But over here, we'll just put in a device. So not an image. We'll delete this one doesn't show that there is something on here but when you just hover you can see that there is a container <clears throat> this allows us to call uh, to, to come to the devices section and put in a for example a browser which we lost somewhere it didn't go somewhere where we wanted so let's just come back once and then try again browser here we go and now we resize it, we make it relative to the parent, and we make it a bit bigger, like that. And <clears throat> that is kind of it. You can also choose the parent container, position it in the middle so that it is nicely centered on the page, and we're good to go to the next section. So if you have a look, the next section is the same. It's just the image is on this side and the, the same text is on the other side. So what we could do is we can select this stylable element and duplicate it. And we just pull in this device to be over here. And then this text to be over here, this text to be over here. There we go. So this is the same thing we can do is just to change the device to a different different one, for example, a laptop. And we can size it the same. This one, we can get rid of that. There we go. So, a 
maybe we want to move it a little bit lower on the page so that it doesn't start completely on the top something like that that's basically it and we can just duplicate this one more time we can just duplicate this and then we can try to move this one up which is not letting us so mm, yeah so what you could do is have them all at the same time or just duplicate the, the bottom one and move it back as it was that's what i'll do just to duplicate the the bottom one and then put the device over here text on this side and this text as well oh come on there we go on this side and now we have a very similar look as we had previously there we go yeah i forgot to duplicate it great job david damn here we go so now we have text image image text text image okay so instead of a instead of this mock-up you could use a box but i'll just leave it as it is continue on the next section so if you have a look at this section we already have this created we already have this created um, so we can just use those for example we have a block which has one piece of text on the top it has two columns one column we have a headline and the list items the icon list items and on the other column we have four images both of which we already created so we can just um, create our empty block over here we will copy over the headline here we go and then in here we will put a two column element there we go in one column we will have actually this one this and this so let's see we cannot copy the whole thing so we will need to do section by section but what i can do is just duplicate this one pull it lower on the page where we need it over here and then only one of these icon list items list icon is the name of it that we need to duplicate actually i didn't even need to duplicate i could have just taken it but that's fine and then pull it down where we need it here and then duplicate it from here one two three four five let's just do five okay so then we have this done there we go and then we already have these types of uh four images which we created on the top of the the page here so we can take the layout two by two which is probably not going to work because it's only selecting one of these so if we try to move it it's only selecting one so but we can recreate it very simply so instead of blocks we go into elements and we just pull in a two column layout over here and then we put in an image into one of these image into other of these here we go and duplicate the whole the whole section not the container but the two column layout there we go move it a little bit down there we go and that's basically it um we would be able to add on more spacing between these as well 
but I will not be doing that. You you know how to add spacing. So you you select it and you can do you do it with the drag handles, but I like to add spacing on top and bottom of these like that. Uh, and then over here a bit 0 0.5 and over here as well. Zero. Actually, I just said I will not do it, but I did it, so I lied. There we go. Mm. Then we have the container selected. We just want to apply some padding so that the images are in the, so that this text is actually in the mi middle of the images, maybe three like that, so that it looks good. And then we can come to the bonuses section, which is very simply just a feature. So title, two columns, image, text, image, text, which is just duplicated sections of one of these bonuses. So let's just do that one. We will come to an empty block over here. Come on, here we go. We will duplicate this title over here, put it in the middle. Then, as you've seen, we need a two column element. And over here, we will have an image, which we can take from here. Duplicate an image. There we go. And then over here, we will need a couple of things which we already have created uh, up here. So let's just see if we could get the, the, the whole thing together. We cannot move container. So we'll just move this, this container. Move it down the section there. Do, 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 do. We're almost there, almost there there and here we are we arrived on the top of this one we just need the number in order to not need to recreate it we can just duplicate it take it from here thank you very much and then we can just come lower on the page and do that do that do do, do. here we go and immediately the same thing happened we should have pulled in the zero one first we can do that now, it's not a problem. So this one we put in here. And then this one we move out here. And then we move this one in here first because the other section has its own container. There we go. What a nice surprise. So, Bonus zero one. Bonus zero one. Here we go. We can add a different color to it. Make it a bit smaller. And over here, you just add on the name of the of the bonus and the description. I'll just duplicate this part of the text. One more time, there we go. Add on our bonus mockup as the image. There we go. And make it smaller, we don't need it so big. So I choose the width relative to the parent and we can leave 60%. This gives us enough space to play with the the container you can move it down using the padding or the the margin option whichever you prefer here you go and now we have the box mock-up with this one over here so this lets us very simply modify or actually duplicate these sections so we have bonus one bonus two bonus three bonus two and bonus three here we go these are the bonuses we're giving away let's just click the save button and then add it on we are almost finished we have 
one block over here second block third block and the footer so we are almost at the end of this build so let's just see what we have here here we will use this as a separate block we'll use the content block just to make this a bit quicker in the contents we have already um, sections which are pre-made with title and uh, and the subtitle or, or a paragraph text whichever you want to call it there we go that one and we can make this white we need it a bit smaller like that and this one as well a little bit bigger there we go this is our title and description i can just delete this there we go and then over here we just need a feature block with an image and some description over here which we already have from here i'm not quite sure i don't think we can move this away so we'll try with this one because this was custom made we can actually move these perfect um, when you custom make these types of two column layouts and things like that it it allows you more flex flexibility so you can move things around on the page more freely than with pre-made blocks so over here we want uh, a device mock-up so we'll just duplicate this There we go. We don't need the box mockup anymore. And we want to remove this extra spacing on here, but move the whole container, whole layout two by two. We want to move it a bit lower like that okay so instead of the bonus we need some text icon list items and then more text so we don't need this we don't need so this is a title and a paragraph once we delete this one the paragraph stays but it's not movable it becomes it becomes strange so i'll just delete the, the whole thing and duplicate the text from here and use this now it is movable as you can see Oop. here we go and let's just separate this like that In the middle somewhere here we want to add on add on icon list items so we could copy one of these um, so you may have seen the video i posted very recently inside the facebook group um, i created quite a lot of these templates and this is just for myself when i'm playing with the software i'm testing it out i'm just testing the limits of it and i create a lot of these a lot of these templates so what we are creating now is just a template that you can use to actually um reuse for your own projects um so i like to keep these templates for myself but as always i am teaching you guys how to create yourself as well so feel free to use it in your uh in your projects question in this question mark a large icon this way and we need to just move back the text so that there is no more spacing there one two three and then we just use this text element duplicate it and move it below there we go 
Okay, awesome. So I want to make this device a bit bigger and also to come a bit lower on the page so that it is not starting on the top so that it doesn't have this strange text uh, below it. So we'll move it somewhere in the middle like that and it immediately looks a bit better, I believe. Um, there we go. So that is kind of the same thing. As you can see here, all the text is left aligned. So we can do that one here as well. Left align all the text. This way it will not be looking strange. Good. Then we have a 30-day 30 uh, 30 money-back guarantee. Um, title, description, and an image which is not a normal block as you as you see here the the text is quite quite long it's not a 50 50 this is a 50 50 block this is a 50 50 column so this column is 50 uh, percent of the of the screen size and then this column is 50 percent of this of the screen size but over here we have this is like 30 percent and this is like a 70 percent i believe or or 80 percent and 20 percent so we have these types of blocks um, available, so we'll just do it manually. So when you come to the blocks, wireframes, empty, and we have these types of blocks over here. I believe this one is that, or here. I believe this one is the one that I used uh, in, that, in the template. So here we can just use a title paragraph. So let's duplicate these ones. title paragraph there we go let's just left align it and then over here we are putting in an image let's copy over this image and then we'll just change over the, the picture inside there we go we want to move this the sizing to 100 percent and then we'll just change the image to our money back guarantee great this is quite a big image you don't need to use these huge images but for this one i'll just leave it as it is now we can move it a bit lower so that it is in somewhere in the middle of the page there we go so it looks it looks good we just need to copy this over paste it in this description needs to be a bit smaller might be like that now we can actually pull it up here we go looking good looking good so the last thing we need is title button uh sub headline or, or uh, yeah the description and we could just copy this over pop it in here and then a button in the middle so let's just do that one we duplicate this from here this one this one and then pull it onto a an empty block over here, or we can actually use a content. Oh, sorry, uh, a content block where we have these elements already. There we go. Let's put the background to white. We don't need the headline. We can make this a bit smaller like that we can make this a bit smaller like that and in the middle we just need our button so where is our button here we go we can just duplicate our button pull it down on the page to the place we need it so when whenever you're pulling it down it, it goes a bit slow but when you move it around then it goes a bit tad bit faster so that's what i do usually and then here we go this is now what we have so let's just copy over this text pop it in here 
or over here we have this text let's paste that in here let's put a strike through over here um you can also put in some spaces next to it and then choose that space and put a strike through through the space um so that the strike through the line through the through the actual uh, numbers goes a bit a uh, bit longer that's a, a trick as well and over here we have one two three four five um links which is very easy to create so I'll show you something that I have discovered. When you are using this empty container over here, let's put it up to the bottom. And we just need these links. So we'll make this center aligned, which is done this way. And we want it also middle aligned. And we put in uh, text link you see so in the container the text link is over here which is which is only this this big but the container for some reason is 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 much bigger and there is no spacing in the middle there is no padding added on there is no sizing added on it's just this is how it is however if you don't want this but only want this tall element i would suggest you to use this not the empty container but this block let's just redo the first thing over here with the so the first text link and we will make it red not red just the text we'll make it red like that this is done by using the first empty container the second one is used by the one column block over there and look what happens when we actually bring in a text link okay so now the whole container resized to the to the height of the 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 element inside i don't know why that is different so when we click in inside here let's just do text on here to be blue so this is created by the one container sorry one column container let's just also make a center here and here so that's the difference between the the top two so the empty container is the red one which leaves on top and bottom space as you can see here the second one was created by this block which doesn't leave space on top and bottom but it it, it is actually styled towards the height uh of the element inside it so i found this out and it, i thought it was pretty cool so i wanted to share it with you um, so we can delete this block we don't want this but this text link will be saying terms and conditions let's put it back to the default page color which i believe was black it was not black but maybe this one We can put it a bit gray color so that it is not something that people want to click all the time. Um, terms and conditions. There we go. And I just want to duplicate it so it comes next to it. And over here it will say privacy policy. There we go. Policy. We can immediately add some spacing onto it so that when we duplicate it, it keeps that spacing as well. So support. Maybe 1.5. Okay. So immediately it, it kept the spacing here as well. So support. Okay. Earnings this earning disclaimer. and then login let's just leave login 
for the people that already have app they can log in so it would it is very simple to, to link these in for example login url is in case you're promoting groove funnels for example it would be app dot groove funnels.com okay that maybe we could do also open a new tab and that's it so if somebody loads in this page they click the login button they come to the login dashboard which looks better because you're giving options to the people for example in case somebody wants to have a look at at this one and already has signed up to you just you can give them an option to log in and over here it is just a uh, uh, just a text element so we can do another uh, you could do another container here below uh, this is this is set up already to the inline so you cannot just do with a container I believe we need to have a, a different block which is pretty simple to do we just pull this in here at the bottom and we just add on a paragraph text let's just duplicate this one make it centered and then copyright not 2019 but 2020 mm -hmm. I'm on That's just something I sometimes put on the bottoms of uh, of the templates I create. Um, there we go. Make it a bit spaced out and save. So that's it, guys. We created now a kind of a template uh, for. Oops, not this one, but I wanted to add it on like that, and over here move it a bit as well there we go so it looks good i believe it is it is nice let's just have a look at the preview so this is what something that we created together in case you were watching this we did together so i didn't edit these in case you want you can edit i will just leave it out for now and yeah i believe this is cool so this is just a template. You could do this yourself very easily, very quickly. Um, but that's how I would do it. That's how I did it, actually. Um, so there is another trick that you could do is to have a page title, a page font. So in case you want to have a different font, now it is set up on the normal uh, like default font. But if you come to Pages, you click these three dots and edit settings you have the font option which is set up a, setting up a global page font where you could select for example a roboto and then when you apply the changes then it changes the the font so let's just try to do something some strange font which we can see for example josephine slab okay as you can see it changes the whole page font changes it globally so this is a cool feature that we added on last week um i really like pop-ins if you know me i really really like pop-ins it, it it looks very professional it looks very clean and it's just all around nice fun to use so i'll just leave this one here and i'll just click save um okay um i will probably not go into the mobile responsiveness now let's just have a look quickly how it looks like okay so here we need a bit more padding okay here as well a bit more padding need to just pull this section a lower on the page here's a bit uh white bit of white space that we don't need okay a bit more padding over here as well and then that's okay so on the ver on the horizontal tablet uh, here 
it kind of looks a bit squished together so we would need to work with that one um here these images just to pull it lower and make the the text size a bit smaller this one we could also uh, add on a bit of padding on it um here this is fine this one is fine here the image would need to come a bit lower i believe um, on here what i would do is just decrease the size of the text the size of the name and then it immediately looks better um, this section is good here we need to actually do a bit more padding here as well here as well here as well absolutely the image is put put a bit lower on the page here the image lower image lower image lower um, this one is quite all right the image here lower um, this actually looks good maybe here the image a bit lower as well and then this section can stay as it is so these are the critical points usually with the people so the vertical tablet let's just have a look how it looks like okay so again the text is pretty squished together we could just manage that simply here we need to center everything um we didn't actually set up the centering on here so these are the four images it looks strange on a um on a vertical device so what i would do is i would just hide those from from the mobile and then put it here below maybe uh maybe just the two images not not all the four but just put it over here here absolutely put on uh padding from from side and then center it like this one so this section would, would look like this section over here and just put a padding on, on, on the size of it. Um, the countdown timer needs to be bigger. So the text size needs to, needs to increase. Absolutely, this image needs to be a bit smaller and then this needs to be bigger. So this text needs to be visible. It needs to be into people's faces. And then absolutely over here, a bit more padding. So just to push it, squish it together towards the middle of the page here this one is fine maybe this image a bit smaller this text smaller image smaller image smaller and as you can see here on a on desktop we have text image image text text image on a on a vertical device it looks strange because it is image text text image image text so I would basically hide um, the image from here and just duplicate it and put it up here. That's how I would sort the, the vertical devices. And that basically um, displays it nicely on a vertical device. Center these. Again, just leave two images here. Center this section. Center here. Um, make this image smaller and center the text. And the rest is okay. Same thing here. Let's make the image smaller, center the text here as well, here as well, this section as well, this section. Yeah. So basically, that is it. What I will do is I will record a separate video on that one on how I would do this page mobile responsive because I've seen that people are not fully aware how to work with the mobile responsiveness yet. So that will be a separate video coming um this week but for now we build out our sales funnel let me just reveal my beautiful face one more time so you can see me now and let's just jump into the questions so i will put this image up and then we can <laughs> ask answer some uh, some questions will this template be available to us yes i could make it available um after we did it uh, after i I did the mobile responsiveness video on this one. Um, it would be good content, and I believe you don't want to do that. Actually, actually, that's a good point. I could share this out as it is and then do the mobile responsiveness video so that you guys actually need to make it mobile responsive yourself using the video so you learn in the meantime. Good. Good thinking, David. Thank you very much. I'll do that um are we not able to upload our own fonts yet no 
this is not a feature yet for a section like the 30 day money back guarantee uh, but the blocks are not exact size of the predefined container width what pro process would you do to adjust text block 83 with image 17 um what i would do is i would suggest you to use the blocks that are that are predefined like what what i did is the big section was for the for the text like over here big section was for the text and then the small section was for the image uh, these are pre-made blocks there are also other uh, other pre-made blocks that have this type of style um which are not empty which have already um content in it but in case you would do that yourself in case you would create that yourself it would be it would be hard because we don't have that type of um of modifications available yet inside the builder um dun -dun -dun -dun. this sales page would be used under the card correct no this is for groove pages uh -huh would be used under the cart um i'm not quite sure i believe the the answer is this is for group page sales pages set up and need a mail service would it be better to use separate hosts for a few months than switch it all you can do whatever you want groove mail is getting an update today so you will be able to use it uh more freely uh from today already um let's see the questions in case you do have any question please pop them in don't forget the q sign in front of your question so i don't miss it um like for example i almost missed this one is there a place where all of their live sessions are archi archive and organized fashion for later viewing we have them in the groove digital academy we have them on our youtube channel we have them on a groove digital support we have them in the facebook group so wherever we have content you can just type in anything in the search and you will find our videos um what i suggest is to in case you want to search for your for example you have resizing image image resizing problem resize image okay image styling and layout and then you can see here this is the support.groovedigital.com this is our uh, support portal you can also search here on youtube the uh, resizing image groove pages or something like that and you will find a video uh, suited for that one um yeah but we have all the videos everywhere wherever you go do, 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 questions i've noticed uh, i have noticed your screen does not have a red bar at the bottom saying groove funnel sync is currently in beta mine does should we uh, not all have the same screens um yes correct very good i've seen um this is this is a eagle eye so why i don't have it is because my account is an admin account in case i would let's just okay so i'm saving it if i would go into not my groove digital account but my private account i would immediately have it on the bottom of the of the section as you can see here guru funnels is currently in meetup so whenever i'm anywhere inside the builder i will have this one but when i'm when i'm logged in with my admin account it is uh it is not showing up there good i believe a lot of questions were already answered i've see i see darcy and eldon you you did good with the explanation thank you very much um i'll try to answer the ones that were that i can see that are questions david your mock-up link from previous tutorial is no longer valid do you have a new suggestion from where to go to create mock-ups um yes so the easiest way to find it um if you go to the facebook group of groove digital and in case you come down over here and click on gold nuggets i believe this was in gold nuggets there is create your bonus from art stevens if you click to see more here is um uh, here is basically where he explains 
what is available and then you can click on this link over here to create the mock-up this is what i've shown in previous um previous builds you could create these single or composite images and this is free to use so you can do that one yourself um i don't know if this is something that you were asking for but that's just good for starters um okay let's just see if there are any more questions on here icon size and color you can edit in text control and configure controls when you uh, when would you adjust with the configure versus text sizing element for configure to be honest i just select the uh, the icon but everything else it's easier to to modify using the text um, text editing okay when you finish the building the page, can you show each uh, of the other devices so we can see how it looks on them, please? Yeah, I did that. Um, when building pages and sites, some people complain that the result doesn't look good on mobile and tablets. So how do we make that? Okay, so I will do a separate video and just for that reason. Um, within a single headline, can you make some words bold? Yeah, I answered this one. Um, Okay, I don't know if this one for for me. Um, where do you stipulate the default font, a page font? I actually went through this one. How do you know what font is default without clicking on each font? I don't see where it highlights or listed what the default font is. So in case you in case you're building out your page. Let me just come back to this one. Okay, so this was the page that we created together. And if you click on anything and you see here, it says page default. In case you didn't change any kind of uh, text color, it just shows up that it is the page default. In case you would change it, you change it here, pages, these three dots, settings, and then this is the page default. For example, in case you want to change this one, yourself instead of the page default but you want to to override it to this one only this one is set up to crimson pro now if you would like to have it to take over the page default options then you can change it back to page default very simply done okay how do you add a button to link facebook group uh, or link it to telegram to it's very simple so let's just connect this uh, this button to our own facebook group so um our facebook group login or basically um url is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash group digital official okay so i just copied over that url i clicked on the button click the configure i'll just come over here to link to url then i paste that in and then for group i would just let it open in a new tab so you've seen when i clicked uh when i pasted in the link with my mouse it didn't show it doesn't show the update button to be pink but if you click inside here and then left or right or any basically basically any button on your keyboard then it shows up as a as a as a pink button then you click the update and then once you save it will be working and sending people over to your facebook group this is the same thing with the telegram link Can you use global uh, to save colors when you are working on a page? Is there a way to save colors? No, not yet. This is requested and I believe it will be coming. Uh, I keep getting exceed maximum when using the integrated free pricks. This should be not happening anymore. Please do hard reload and you'll be fine. Mm. Have you had any issues with embed? When I click and save the code, it copies it twice. Is there most of the time which screws it up? I've deleted and tried again. It continues. Any thoughts? I actually haven't seen this one yet. Um, what can I embed? What do I have? I can embed a video. Okay. So embed. Let's just copy over this code and let's just embed something on a page. Uh, by the things that Rob is saying, it should have two videos on there so let's just embed a video um what i do suggest rob is just to 
uh, do you do a hard reload that would probably load up the, the freshest version of groove pages okay you see it is embedded it doesn't copy it over i don't know what kind of issues you're having but i believe this should be sorted once you are to once you did the hard reload but i haven't heard this happening to anybody else um okay good so how to link facebook pixels there's a video on that one in case you come to our youtube channel or search the group or anywhere you can type in facebook pixel or just pixel and there is a video how to connect facebook pixel to groove pages how do you add social proof on this social proof are usually separate widgets that you just uh have it with a different company third party app you grab the code and you put it uh put it inside your pages either header or footer head or foot footer tag sorry head or body tags and then it dis displays it on the page automatically um great how to link to paypal gateway paypal is in groove cell and you just need to log in with your account there is no interlinking uh, needed anymore so that is it guys i believe you are now equipped to create a sales page like this one it's a long form sales page so you can have a video on the top and then have the text towards the bottom and you can use this to promote groove uh, as your product and make it an offer with your bonuses um, as i mentioned on the beginning of the video use bonuses to create an offer and not just sell the product this is what makes the this is what the big marketers do and this is why i always they offer you bonuses because it makes the, the product more enticing and, and basically you want it more because of those bonuses. So that's it. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, we will continue uh, working on this page. I will I will share this out in the group. I will share this template out in the group. And then um, a different day, on another day, we can continue on making it mobile responsive. If you are watching the replay uh, and... Um, basically that other video was done you will find it in the description of this video in case you are joining us live and you're waiting for the live mobile response in this video then you will know about it it will be announced in the facebook group so thank you very much guys for watching and then hopefully see you in the group bye, -bye.